Hi, my name is Miss Quiring and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Westfield Charter Academy. We are going to round up our week with one last day working on finding a solution. So let's remember Y stands for yes, a solution. A solution is how our problem gets fixed. So as we read our last book with this skill today, we are looking for clues about how the problem is getting fixed. And remember, we're going to do this because we are good readers and good readers figure out a solution to help them understand how a problem gets fixed. Today we are going to look for some problems and most importantly some solutions in a book called King of the Playground by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor, illustrated by Nola Langer Malone. So before we get into this book, there is one word that I want to talk to you about, and that word is brave. Does anybody know what brave means? Brave means that you're not afraid of anything. You're not afraid to do the right thing when you are brave. Today we're going to see if one of our characters can have a little bit of bravery to find a solution to his problem. We have the King of the Playground. Author is Phyllis Naylor, illustrated by Nola Malone. Kevin put on his Spider-Man t-shirt his Batman underpants, and his jeans with a horseshoe on each pocket. But he didn't feel brave, and he didn't feel lucky. He walked up to the street to the playground. He wanted to go down the slide head first, but if Sammy was there, he wouldn't go down at all. <gasps> Too late, Sammy was there. You can't come in, Sammy said. I'm king of the playground. And he told Kevin what he would do if he saw him on the slide. Kevin went back home. His father was making soup. I thought you went to the playground, said father. Sammy says if I go on the slide, he'll get a rope and tie me up, Kevin said. He says he'll tie my hands and feet so tight I'll never get loose. Wow, said his father. Really? And what would you be doing while Sammy was tying you up? Just sitting there? Kevin remembered when he tried to put a sweater on the cat. I'd be kicking my feet, he said. Right, said his dad. That's one thing you could do. So I'm going to stop here because I'm seeing a bunch of clues. I see clues for my problem. I also see some clues for a solution. Can you find the problem right now? What is Kevin's problem? Yeah, let's add to our problem chart. The first problem I hear is that Kevin really wants to play on the playground, but Sammy is not going to let him play. Now, does he have a solution? Does Kevin have a solution for what he's going to do so he can play on the playground? Yeah, he does have a solution. So, for a solution, Kevin asks his dad for advice. He's getting some help for his dad to find a solution. And he says he can kick himself free so he can play. He solved part of his problem, right? The next day, Kevin went to the playgrounds and he got as far as the swings. You can't play here, yelled Sammy, running over. I'm king of the swings. And he told Kevin what he would do if he saw him on the swings. Kevin went home and he sat on the porch. Father was washing his car. I thought you were going to the playground, father called. Kevin shook his head. Sammy says if I go on the swings, he'll dig a hole and he'll put me in. He says he'll dig a hole so deep I'll never get out. Father smiled just a bit. Ha, 
How long do you think it would take Sammy to dig that hole? Kevin remember when he helped his dad dig holes for the fence posts in their backyard. A long time, he said. And what would you be doing while Sammy was digging? I'd be kicking the dirt back in, said Kevin, and he smiled a little too. Right, said his dad. That's one thing that you could do. Now, how's Kevin going to solve his problem? We saw that he was going to kick free first. Now what is he going to do? Yeah, it says that he's going to try and kick the sand back in if Sammy tries to dig a hole. The next day, Kevin went to the playground and tried to climb the monkey bars. You can't play here. I'm king of the monkey bars, Sammy shouted and told Kevin what he would do if he saw him there again. Kevin went home and he climbed up the maple tree. His father was working in the garden. I thought you were going to the playground, said father. Well, Sammy says if I climb the monkey bars, he'll come over to our house and nail all the doors and windows shut and we'll be trapped here forever. Kevin looked at his father and they both started to laugh. And while Sammy was nailing one door shut, we could walk right out the other, Kevin said. Right, said his dad. Take a minute, turn and talk with somebody around you, or you can think in your head, how's Kevin gonna solve his problem now? He can't kick free. He can't kick dirt in a hole. So how's he gonna solve his problem now? Yeah, our text told us, while Sammy is nailing one door shut, we can walk out the other. They're going to find an open door to walk through before Sammy nails them all shut. The next morning, Kevin put on his Spider-Man t-shirt, his Batman underpants, and his jeans with the horseshoes on each pocket. He only felt a little bit brave and a little bit lucky. He walked up the street to the playground. Thump, thump. Thump went his heart. Sammy was sitting by himself in the sandbox. It was a big sandbox, but when Sammy was in it, nobody else wanted to play. Kevin slowly walked over. You can't play here, Sammy yelled at him. I'm king of the sandbox. Kevin put one foot in the box. Go home, Sammy yelled even louder. If you try to play here, I'll put you in a cage with bears in it. Oh no. Kevin put his other foot in the sandbox. Well, then I'll ride on their backs and teach them tricks, he said. Hold on. I just saw a clue. Now, there's obviously a problem. Sammy is still being a bully. He's not letting Kevin play, right? But what's Kevin doing now? Is he showing some bravery? What is his solution? Yeah, he's still in the sandbox. And he said, well, if you do this, I can do something else, right? Sammy stared. You can't, he yelled. They're wild bears. Well, then I'll squeeze through the cage and I'll escape. You can't, Sammy shouted. You're too big. Well, then I'll take magic pills and it'll make me little, said Kevin. And he began to smile. I'll get through the cage and hide. You can't, Sammy hollered. I'll run after you and I'll pick you up and I'll throw you in the trash. <gasps> well, then I'll take the magic pills to make me big again and I'll drive away in a truck. You can't, Sammy bellowed. I'll go to the army and I'll get a tank and I'll chase the truck and push it into the ocean. Oh my goodness. Try it, said Kevin. Sammy stopped hollering. What? He asked. Try it, said Kevin, and he sat down. He began digging a tunnel at one end of the sandbox. For a moment, Sammy didn't say anything at all. Then he began digging a tunnel at his end of the sandbox. Faster and faster and farther and farther they dug until suddenly, whoop! 
They bumped heads right in the middle. This time, Kevin laughed out loud. He wasn't sure, but he thought maybe Sammy was smiling too. I'm going to build the biggest fort in the world, Kevin said, and he began digging again. Ha, said Sammy. It's got to have towers. It will, Kevin said. It's got to have a drawbridge, said Sammy. It will, Kevin said. It's got to have a ditch all around it, said Sammy. It will. Will you help me build it? No, Sammy told him, but he did. Now, I want to stop here and ask you, there's a lot of ways he tried to solve his problem, right? He did a couple things that his dad said he could do, but what really worked? Kevin wants to play, but Sammy would not let him. How did he finally find a solution? What did he do? Yeah, Kevin, he was a little bit brave and a little bit lucky, right? So I said his solution, Kevin was brave and he stood up to Sammy. He didn't let Sammy bully him anymore and that solved his problem. Now for the last thing, we are going to fill in our story chart. And again, we have all of these to fill out. I need to know my setting, my talking characters. <gasps> Oops, a problem, the attempts to resolve, and finally, yes, a solution. So take a minute. Where was the setting of my story? Where did we see it happening? I think so. I put down Kevin's house. I also put down the playground. Those are the two places I saw the most in our book. Talking characters. Who were the people, animals, or objects that were talking in our book today? I think there should be three of them. I wrote down that Kevin, his dad, and Sammy were all talking characters because I remember all of them talk to each other. Now I'm at O. Oh, oops, a problem. What was our problem today in our book? King of the Playground. The problem is Kevin wants to play at the playground, but Sammy said no. Attempts to resolve. Again, this is what we already have down on our first chart. He said that he might kick Sam back in a hole. He could do a lot of things if Sammy tried to, you know, nail his windows shut. Maybe he'll walk out a different window, right? A lot of different ways he could solve his problem, but there was one that stood out from the rest. I need, yes, a solution. At the very end of our book, how did Kevin solve his problem with Sammy? Our very last one. The solution was Kevin got help from his dad. He was brave and he's Sammy's friend. So he solved his problem with a bully just by being a friend, which I think is a lovely, lovely message. So thank you for joining me for our story time and for our skill of finding a solution.